everyone, and welcome to another Artist Spotlight episode. I am Boss Mom 99 and I'm so excited to be bringing you two more artists. They are active Meta Jungle members and fantastic photographers, uh, and they are going to be Ivan Pedretti and Mustafa Natterpour. So with that, let's go on ahead and learn more about these two incredible artists. So the first artist we're going to be talking about today is Ivan Pedretti. Ivan is a photographer based out of Italy, and he's been capturing photographs since 2012, but became a full-time photographer in 2014. Ivan originally studied chemical engineering and had a job working in IT, but in 2010, he discovered a passion for wildlife photography, and after winning a major international photography award, he decided to become a full-time photographer and says that this is the best choice he ever could have made. So let's go ahead and hear more from Ivan himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Ivan Pedretti. GM, I'm Ivan Pedretti. I am a professional landscape photographer. I live in Sardinia, this island in Italy, as you can see from this beautiful view. And exactly here in this place, I started my job uh, 10 years ago with a special passion for night photography, night landscape photography. And with this photo, I won a very famous international award. In my travels, however, I also like to experiment with the different photography, the street photography, as a reportage of the place. I have won a lot of international awards, but in 2022, uh, I am the overall winner of the Glanz Lichter, a very important European competition, with this nice scale. In June 2021, I joined the world on NFTs and I discovered a completely different space from the usual socials. Here uh, I found a creative community and my work appreciated by collectors is very satisfying and it's a boost for my heart. So that's it. Bye. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really, really love this video. I love all the different landscapes Ivan took us to and all the kind of behind the scenes that he gave us in this video. Um, I can definitely see why he has won so many awards and achievements for his work. A few of these do include Sony World Photography Awards Panoramic Ca Category winner, a publication in the Times Magazine, Photo Noja Nature and Landscape Category winner, and the overall winner of the Magnificent Wilderness category at the Glans Lichter 2022 Awards. I apologize if I pronounce any of these um, names wrong because I definitely want to make sure I'm doing justice all the achievements that you uh, have, Ivan. So I do apologize there, but that's incredible. Uh, but let's go on ahead and actually check out his work and you guys can see for yourself why he's won so many awards and achievements because it is super incredible. Um, but so here we are in Ivan's OpenSea profile. As you guys can see, he currently has five collections and they are Colors of Sardina, The Green Sympathy, Igneous by Ivan Pedretti, Memories of Dolomites, and Two Cities. The first collection we're going to look at is Colors of Sardinia. This collection is made up of 10 items with three different owners and a floor price of 0.05 ETH. Uh, he says that this collection consists of aerial shots above the woods of Arzo in Sardina, Italy. And that I personally love these colors. I love all the colors that are in these photos and all the different shapes that these trees create. Uh, fall is one of my favorite times of the year. So I think these are absolutely incredible. I think it captures the beauty so well. Uh, but the next collection we're going to look at is Igneous. Uh, this collection is made up of 10 items with three different owners and currently no floor price on OpenSea because this collection is available on Solica. Uh, this collection got its name from the Latin word for fire, igneous, which is why magmatic, magmatic rocks are also called igneous rocks and result from the solid, solidification of a molten material that comes out of volcanic interruptions or also known as magma. Um, I really love this collection though because he takes that process and uh, he takes this process that nature has and just showcases it so well. Uh, I mean, it creates all these different shapes, colors, 
Uh, the details, they're absolutely incredible, and he captures it so well and just really brings beauty to this process. Um, and I just, I think that's incredible. I love it. Uh, but his next collection, Memories of Dolomites, is made up of five pieces with no owners currently and a floor price of 0.25 ETH. And this collection is made up of incredible photos documenting Ivan's travels and the Italian Dolomites. Uh, he also adds this his Two Cities collection, and this one's made up of 10 items with a floor price of 0.2 ETH. And this collection captures his travels to Jerusalem and Bethlehem. But the last collection we're going to look at today is Green Symphony. Uh, this collection is made up of 21 items with 16 owners, and it only has one piece left before it is a sold-out collection with a floor price of 0.275 ETH. This collection is incredibly cool to me, um, and Ivan says he spent six years capturing all these photos, and I'm so glad that he's decided to share them with us. These are really, really beautiful pieces, um, but let's go on ahead and take a closer look at Green Symphony number 13. This piece is owned by Alpha Trilogy, and it's absolutely breathtaking. He captures the night sky, the aurora, the white sand, all of it so, so well. Plus, how unique is this plane in the scene? Like, that's so incredible. I, I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I love the colors coming off of it. But Ivan's attention to detail before and after capturing these shots are just incredible. And in return, he creates these incredible moments to share with us. And I just, I think it's so wonderful. But let's go on ahead and take a look at the photo that Ivan shared with us that if collectors were viewing his pieces for the first time, he feels like would really showcase his work well, and this is it. And when asked why he chose this piece, he said it represents the final piece of his best-selling collection and is also his favorite genre of photography, nightscapes. And I couldn't agree more. I love this piece. I think it is absolutely incredible. I don't know how it's the final piece because it it's so amazing. I love the person on top of the plane. I love the silhouette. I love the plane. I love the background. It's all just so, so beautiful. But yeah, I just, it, it leaves me speechless, honestly. I love it. But Ivan joined the NFT space in June 2021, and he has seen so much success so far. He says that he joined the NFT world to propose his work and discover a totally new and creative world. Ivan says his wish for that space is that collectors appreciate his work primarily as art, but then they fall in love with his style and his vision. And I don't know how he cannot achieve that because after viewing his work, I love his style and his vision. I think it's incredible, and I think he captures everything that he sets out to capture so well. So thank you, Ivan, so much for sharing this with us and allowing me the opportunity to tell more people about you. The next NFT artist that we're going to be talking about today is Mustafa Naderpour. Mustafa is also known by his artist name Diaco, and he has been an artist for 20 years. Uh, he is a high-speed drop photographer based out of Iran, and due to the restrictions and sanctions of Iran, he's actually had to get creative uh, to shoot this genre of work. This has resorted to him studying electronics and programming to build his own drop recording devices and time-stopping device. So let's go on ahead and hear a little bit more about this journey from Mustafa himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Mustafa Naderpour. Hello everyone. My name is Mustafa Naderpour. I am an Iranian artist and, and I am 54 years old and I have been connected to NFT for one year. I am a high-speed drop photographer, photographing liquids and their collision with each other in a fraction of a second. In a short moment, several drops of water or milk colored by food colors are dropped from a certain high and a few hundred seconds later, the flash and the camera act. I have success in various festivals. In fact, I have made the drop recording device myself due to the restriction and sanction of era. I hope uh, that more attention will be paid. So I ask you and my friends to see my works on Foundation, OpenSea, and Non-Origin, and Twitter. Thank you so much. 
Wow, I absolutely love, love, love this video. Uh, Mustafa, you did such a great job. I love, um, I really enjoyed all the work that you put into showing us the process that it takes for you to photograph or the process that you do photograph. Um, I also really think it's cool that you say that you only have a fraction of a second to photograph these collisions of liquids. And just seeing the different examples of the shapes and colors that can be attained by adjusting the droplet, uh, dropping time, size, and concentration is just really, really incredible to me. Like, you have such a little time to capture these moments, and you capture them so, so well. So let's go ahead and check out some more of Mustafa's diverse work. So here we are on Mustafa's OpenSea profile. As you can see, he has one collection currently called High Speed Photography. This collection is made up of 22 items and has eight owners with the current floor price of 0.15 ETH. These items are seriously so cool. Um, it's really incredible to me to see all the different shapes, colors, props, etc. that he brings into play to create these. Plus the detail that's captured in these types of photos are just absolutely astounding to me. Um, I think it's so beautiful how the liquid, liquids react with themselves. It's almost like they're dancing or, um, I, yeah, it's almost like they're dancing to me. And it's just so fun because it's like different kinds of dances. Like you have these beautiful fluid ones. You have these ones that are kind of like a funky jig. And I just love it. I think it's so incredible and so such a beautiful process. But I absolutely love these. And I'm just so glad that Mustafa shared them with us and he uh, took the time to tell us a little bit more about the process that it takes to capture these incredible images. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the photo that Mustafa shared with us that if collectors were viewing his pieces for the first time, um, he feels like would really showcase his work well. And when asked why he chose this photo, he says that he really, really just enjoys this one. He likes this photo a lot. Um, and I understand why. I think it's really, really cool. All the different sizes, the different colors. Um, like I said, I just think it's so, so incredible what these artists can achieve, um, through this type of work. I, it's, it's just, it's amazing to me, but Mustafa actually got involved in the NFT space in March of 2021. And during this time, he's worked to create a great collection and surround himself with a supportive community. And I think he has done a really great job of being supportive and active and, uh, helping build this community, um, that he's looking for. So Thank you so much, Mustafa, for letting me uh, tell more about your process and a little bit more about you and your work. I've really, really enjoyed getting to know uh, Ivan and Mustafa more and having the opportunity to kind of dig a little bit deeper into their work and learn more about their processes. Um, it's really, really cool, and I'm really, really grateful that they allowed me the opportunity to uh, share this with all of you guys because it's seriously so cool. Um, if you guys are interested in being one of our artist spotlights, please reach out to me. It's BossMom99 on Discord or Twitter. I would love to connect and learn a little bit more about you. Um, but with that, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you all next time and telling you about some more incredible artists. Bye, guys.